Before testing your vibratory feeder for tuning, first verify that all bolts on the feeder and drive unit are tight. You must then correctly set the electromagnetic coil gaps. Rectified drive functions require gaps equal to 50 thousandths of an inch, where non-rectified functions require 25 thousandths gap. To set the coil gap, locate the coil mount plate and loosen the jack bolts, which set the gap, and then the coil mounting bolts, which secure the coil's position. Slide a shim of appropriate thickness for your drive function in between the coil and pole face and turn on the bolt. This ensures the shim is perfectly flat against the coil face. Tighten the jack bolt slightly until the shim is firmly and evenly wedged between the coil and pole face. Then. Tighten the coil mounting bolts until the coil is firmly held in place and you can easily remove the shim and turn off the bowl. Repeat this process on each coil of the drive unit. To test a bowl for proper tuning, run the bowl at normal speed or between 50 and 80% of the maximum rate. Locate the bolt or bolts on one end of one spring bank. Loosen the bolts one at a time and check for one of three conditions. 1. If the bowl surges with vibration and continues to run erratically, the bowl is oversprung and will need one or more springs removed. 2. If the bowl slows down significantly or stops, the bowl is undersprung and will need one or more additional springs. Or 3. If the bowl surges for a moment, then slows down to run close to its original speed, the bowl is tuned correctly and no changes are necessary. There are several things to keep in mind when changing springs. When adding or removing springs, the goal is to have an equal number of springs per bank. However, when an unequal number of springs is required for proper tuning, add first to the coil spring banks or remove from the slave spring banks. Slave spring banks should never have more springs than the coil spring banks. Also, if you are using multiple thicknesses of springs, be sure to install thicker springs closer to the cross arms. Once you understand whether your bowl is oversprung or undersprung, turn off the bowl and add or remove one spring, making sure to place spacers in between each spring. Again, verify all bolts are tight and turn on the bowl to repeat the test. Continue to add or remove springs, testing between each change until the condition for a correctly tuned bowl is met. Stay tuned for more how-to videos and feel free to email us with any topics you'd like to see. Thanks for watching.